Welcome back to New Day Northwest. According to the CDC, every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a stroke. And every three and a half minutes, someone <laughs> dies of stroke. Well, we want to make sure that y'all know about the warning signs out there to be aware of when it comes to stroke. And joining me now is Dr. Stephen O'Donnell, neurologist and medical director for the stroke program at Overlake Medical Center. Welcome to New Day. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. So let's talk first about where you work. It's the East Side New Neuroscience Institute. What is that? So Overlake Hospital and Evergreen Health in Kirkland have combined forces to create the Eastside Neuroscience Institute. We're leveraging our clinical expertise, technology, and resources to try to deliver the best care we can to patients with neurological disease. And I love that you came together to do that. Let's talk about the nitty gritty here. What is a stroke and how is it caused? A stroke is a disruption of blood flow to the brain. Okay. So Either in the United States, most strokes are caused by a blood clot blocking flow, but also if a blood vessel breaks open in the brain, any disruption leads to stroke. And in minutes, brain cells die. So we like to say time is brain. Time is brain. Mm. That is important. What are the leading factors of stroke and how can they pre prevent it? Uh, there's several. Um, things like high uh, cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking and diabetes are some of the leading mm -hmm. causes of stroke. Mm -hmm. And really to prevent stroke, you want to try to have um, a healthy lifestyle, which is regular exercise, good diet, control your blood pressure, and check in with your doctor. Yeah, that is key. It is key to make sure you're telling your doctor everything, right? Like, don't lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we uh, hope that you can trust us and um, yeah, tell us what's going on. Because it's important, like, I know, look, some of us do things we're not proud of, and that's okay. It's important to tell your doctor because these are the things that you are here to help us with and you are here to share. So what are the signs and symptoms of a stroke? So I like to use the acronym called Be Fast. Okay. So any sudden change in your balance, eye or vision loss, F is for facial droop or weakness, okay. arm weakness or speech difficulty, it's time to call 911 and get yourself to a hospital. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna leave this up here. It used to just be fast, we were talking about this. Um, the face drooping, A for arm weakness, S for speech and difficulty, T for time to call 911. But the B part is something that I hadn't realized. So let's go over that again. B, balance issues, sudden onset. E, eye and vision, sudden loss. Those are things that I don't think many people knew about. When and why did they decide to add that part to it? A lot of strokes could present in different ways, and we were finding that people were waiting too long to come in who had some other symptoms. Got it. But including that vision loss or sudden vertigo or balance issues where you just can't walk mm -hmm. and you don't know why, that can be a stroke too. Okay. When it comes to age, you know, we've been hearing more and more about people having this at a younger age, but I think if, let's say, if you're in your 30s and this is happening, like, stroke is not what you think. What age is is stroke affecting people? Stroke does uh, affect people as they are older, but mm -hmm. you're right, it can affect people at any age, and it kind of depends on risk factors, and other genetic causes sometimes can allow people to have a stroke earlier on. Yeah, wow, okay, this is such good information. I'm so glad you came to share this. How can people learn more? Um, we have a website, it's called eastsideneuroinstitute.org, and there you can learn more about stroke and the treatments we provide to prevent it. Um, from there. And you're providing treatments to prevent it too, which is great. You have to come back and tell us all about that, I hope. I would love to. Uh, thank you so much for your time and all this information. We so appreciate you. And to learn more about what we discussed today, visit the website on your screen, eastsideneuroinstitute.org. You can also visit the link on New Day's website. But most importantly, think about your health. If you have any concerns, do not hesitate. Be fast. All right. Spring is in the air, but before you pull out those tired old Easter decorations, we've got some new decor ideas that are full of whimsy and delight. We'll be right back. This portion of New Day